Hey everybody, good to be back with you. This is Turfgrass. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Turf Tech tool. What is it? What does it do? Why does it matter? That's one of the best questions to ask. Why does this matter? Turf Tech is a dashboard, algorithmic dashboard that uses turf grass data to make high quality decisions. Which varieties should you use for which situation? Gold standard of turf grass data is right on the screen right now. It's the National Turf Grass Evaluation Program. You'll hear me refer to it as NTEP for short. It's the gold standard of turf grass data, the largest public database in the world. It's run by Kevin Morris, the executive director. Uh, it's the research is done by land grant universities across the United States. I've got an illustration set up to show you how this works. Let me just t enter the turf grass database here and choose all the species. The turf tech tool will evaluate performance on all of these species, bent grass, fine fescue, bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue, Bermuda grass, buffalo grass, zoysia grass. I'm going to get into bent grass fairways. Take a look at bent grass fairways. There is a really good illustration for the purposes of this podcast in the 2008 National Bent Grass Test. And the reason is it's got a small set of varieties, so everything fits on the screen at the same time. And you can see how this works. And just remember, this applies to any species that we have data for all of them. It's the same thing. I just want to go through how this thing works, what it means and why it matters. So let's click on this. Bentgrass fairways, the number one disease for bentgrass fairways across the United States is what? It's dollar spot. So let's take a look at dollar spot disease for bentgrass fairways right here. We're, we're going to get into dollar spot bentgrass fairways. This is the data set. So dollar spot ratings, bent grass cultivars grown on a fairway or a T 2009-2013 data. And the way this works is researchers at these states, we have six states, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Washington. They rank these in a one to nine scale. You can see dollar spot ra uh, ratings, nine equals no disease, one basically equals all kinds of disease and it's basically dead turf. So nine means highly disease resistant varieties. What most people do, they kind of find their state and there's only six that they had trials for. So you're going to find the state or maybe the state closest to you. That can be a little problematic because your golf course and the agronomic environmental management conditions for your golf course are never the same as what's happening at the locations where the research is done. So other people will go over here and look at the grand mean. What is the average? Averages have problems too because sometimes high scores can skew the average up or low scores skew the average down. So what Turf Tech does, it takes this data and it comes up with a ranking of a top performance group based on the NTEP data. What does that mean? If we look at and read how you tell which varieties are top performing, we just read right here, subtract one entry's mean from another entry's mean. Statistical differences occur when this value is larger than the corresponding LSD value. LSD stands for least significant difference. So let's just do this real quick. The first score on dollar spot rankings, declaration 8.1. That's really good, by the way. That's an 8.1. Let's come down here and make the math easy. Princeville, that's a 5.1. What is the difference between the, those two scores? The difference 8.1 minus 5.1 is three. Is three greater than 1.3, the LSD value? The answer is yes, it is. That means there's a statistical difference in dollar spot resistance between Declaration and Princeville. And by the way, that is significant. Those are different. Princeville is gonna have more dollar spot disease in this particular trial at this particular time. Let's do another one. 
How about the highest score in the group? I've got the highest scores ranked. The highest score in this first trial in Maryland is an 8.2. This SRP1WM is an 8.2. Keep your eye on that experimental number, by the way. Uh, this another experimental PST RD07 is an 8.2. And this another BCD is 8.2. 8.2 is the highest rated score for this particular state. If I take that score, that maximum score, and subtract the LSD value of 1.3, 8.2 minus 1.3 is 6.9. Anything greater than that difference, anything meaning less than 6.9, is significantly different, meaning it is not the same as the maximum score. T1 is 4.9. That is less than the difference so that means it is, it, it's going to have more dollar spot disease. So is authority at 6.1. So is pen cross at 6.3. Anything less than that difference is not significantly different than the maximum score. So 8.1, 8.2 minus 8.1 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is less than the LSD value, which is 1.3. So there's no significant difference between an 8.2 and an 8.1. The same with a 7.8, the same with an 8.0, the same with a 7.2. So what I did was I highlighted in green all of the varieties that are have no significant difference than the maximum score. That, by definition, would be the top performing group. Superintendents who want dollar spot resistance could choose any of those varieties for the state of Maryland, for the being in the top performing group. With this trial, all I have to do now is go across all six states and find which varieties are in the top performing group. Those would be the ones that are highly resistant to dollar spot disease. That's what I do right here. This is the same chart. I put this data into an Excel spreadsheet. If you're in the top performing group, you get a yes. Yes, I'm in the top performing group. If you're not, you get a no. And all we have to do then is go across these same six states and count the yeses. It's about counting. If you want high performance on any of these attributes in the, in the NTEP database, in particular here, we're talking about bent grass fairways for dollar spot. All you got to do is count the yeses. And if we count the S's, remember that SRP 1WM? That's a variety called Flagstick. It comes out from Dr. Leah Broman's breeding program. It made the top performing group in all six states. So it gets a six out of six on the yes count. 007, also from Seed Research, made it in the top group in five of six states. Uh, another product like Barracuda from Mountain View Seed made it the top performing group in five out of six states. As we go down the list, you can see how many yeses each of these varieties got. And some of these didn't make it at all in the top performing group, meaning they get more dollar spot. So I put these, Excel has kind of a hard time with text figures like a six slice six. So I turned that into a simple number. Six divided by six is 100. Five divided by six is 83.3. That becomes what I'm calling a turf performance index. Flagstick is in a class by itself. 100% on all six states in the top group, highly resistant to dollar spot disease. Five or six of those, I think six, five of those at the bottom didn't make it one time. Those are going to get more dollar spot, meaning probably your fungicide use is going to have to go up uh, to manage the dollar spot disease. So if you're looking for dollar spot disease, use the turf tech tool, count the yeses, and the more yeses you have for the top performing group, the better performance you're going to get. Once I do the yes and no's, I convert all these yeses to a one. I convert the no's to a zero. Excel has an easy time calculating these and I put them in. This is the same chart. Flagstick gets ones across all six states for a turf performance index of 
and Pencross, Princeville, Authority, Crystal Blue Links, and T1 at the bottom didn't make it one time. They get a zero, and you can see the variation as we go across all of these, uh, the TPI score, all across all the varieties. That becomes an index. Finally, the index, all these six states roll up to one column called dollar spot. That's the same chart you're looking at that you've been looking at. Flagstick is at 100, Pencross is at zero, Barracuda is at 83.3. That becomes a dollar spot index for fairways. This is the start of playing Moneyball for Turf Seed. Which varieties have the highest performance? You can see my slicer over here is, is uh, sorted on dollar spot. We're going to next time go through other attributes like genetic color, like spring green up, like other diseases and build us a turf variety money ball chart so you can make high quality decisions on bent grass for your fairways. We'll see you next time.